Welcome to the back alley of the internet. It's great for the criminals. Because on the dark web, you can do almost anything with the promise that you're anonymous. You don't have to stick your head out of the hole and show yourself. So, you can watch whatever you want. There's videos of murderers and child porn. Countless marketplaces offer sex services and goods like guns. Counterfeit money, counterfeit gold. It'll sell IDs. And drugs from black tar heroin to ketamine. 78 bucks. Free shipping. And don't forget to leave a review. 332 positive. 52 negative. You know, it's pretty good odds if you're on eBay. It's crazy that like something like this exists. It is. It's very crazy. And it's only a click away. Anybody can download Tor. Tor is the special software you need to access the dark web. The download is free, easy to find, even get it on your phone. Then search for these dark web marketplaces. Are these like websites you couldn't get onto like just by Googling them? No. Instead of .com, these sites are .onion. Tor stands for the Onion Router. Yeah, Onion. They're a symbol of the dark web. Onions have layers, and the dark web offers layers and layers and layers of anonymity. The Tor software bounces around your computer's IP address. One minute, it could look like you're online in China. The next, it could be Australia. It is a huge problem, uh, and, and it's just fleeting. And the Department of Homeland Security deals with dark web drug lords daily. It's a, a whack-a-mole situation where uh, a market goes up, becomes really popular, and then we're able to get to the administrator, uh, and we're able to take the site down, uh, and then they're up on another site. The buyers and sellers aren't using personal information either. They're using hard-to-track cryptocurrency when they make their deals. They could be anywhere, even mid-Michigan. We noticed very early on that the Saginaw Bay Area was sort of a hotbed for suspected dark web activity. Very prolific dark web buyer up there. Thousands of purchases on, on all the various dark web marketplaces. Uh, designer drugs, MDMA, Acid, Xanax, everything. He was um, also uh, supplying schools. We took him down. He's no longer a threat. The agents wouldn't tell me the name of that buyer, but did say they're getting better and better at tracking down dark web users. We make a purchase and see what comes in the mail and then try to reverse engineer it from there. We'll use, again, traditional work of undercover work um, or meetings to, to solve those cases. So even though you might feel safe hiding behind the screen, you'll likely end up feeling not so safe behind bars. That was Scott Walchuk reporting. It's not illegal to go on the dark web or to download Tor. If you do want anonymity on the regular internet, you can always look into a virtual private network.